Today I want to talk about looking at yourself and your importance in this world. Now, in life there is a hierarchy people talk about. And it goes like a pyramid. And the proletariat, the regular people, they're on the bottom. And then you get people a bit more important here and a bit more important here. And then finally a person who's on top. And that person might be a president, might be a CEO, it might be the principal of a school, might be the parent in the family, whatever. But in this world, we really shouldn't look at anyone as being more important than anyone else. And I really mean that. It's like you're walking down the street and you, and you see somebody and this person is physically attractive or they're well-dressed or they look like they're intelligent so you give them more preference okay or maybe a person is uh, short and you you talk down to that person or someone is young and so you treat them as if they don't matter because they're they're, they're too young or let's say for example you're you're walking down the street and someone bumps into you and you turn around and the guy's like six foot six so you don't do anything. Or it's a cop, so you don't say anything. But then someone else bumps to you and you look and you see that they're a small person, they're a thin person, someone you don't perceive as a threat, and you say, hey, what the heck's wrong with you, buddy? Why are you going? We do that. We automatically look at people and we assign them their, their hierarchical position. And what I'm saying to you is that it really doesn't make sense for you to look at somebody as being more important than you. Now, we all know that in life, the most important person should be you. And why am I saying this? Okay, I talk about, well, I'm not putting somebody above you. What I'm saying is you shouldn't put anyone above you because you should put yourself above everyone else as far as your focus. It doesn't mean that you dismiss people. You don't take care of your family. Like you feed yourself first or you, you know, you know, don't um, know something else but yourself. But what it means is that you need to learn to live in your own skin and understand your own importance. And don't just automatically relegate someone else as being more important than you. Because think about it. You're born and you live your life and one day you die. Well, when you die, everything else goes away as well from your perspective. Okay, if if I'm in the room and I close my eyes, everything in that room is gone because I close my eyes. You close your eyes, anything is gone for you. I still see. So therefore, what I see is important to me. And I need to recognize that. This world is is a place that you make for yourself. If you are healthy, if you have a sense of um, let's say uh, education and intelligence or if you're somebody who has a sense of humor or you like to explore things that's all because of what you perceive as important to you okay I can't feed myself to make you nourished I can't read a book to make you smart I can't wake up and think how am I gonna make your day better I have to look at myself first so what we do is, by each one of us looking at ourselves as being important, it levels the playing field. And the one thing that I don't like is when somebody who has a position of power, like in a, in a company or, say, a cop or something like that, uses their position to make someone else feel bad. It's, it's not right. It's not right. I remember one time a person told me that um, they were driving down the highway and they were they were on a road that was uh, 65 miles an hour, and there was a cop. He was on I guess he was in the uh, right lane, and he was doing about 60, and the person went to the left lane and passed the cop at speed at 65 miles an hour, and the cop chased him down, and gave him a ticket, and he he said you know what did I do wrong? He said you disrespected me by passing me. And that's right there talks about my, my point. This person, they thought that they, because their position, was better than the other guy on the road. 
when the cop has made a made a declaration to swear to serve and protect the public. So therefore, he's putting himself in in a way that he will take the danger. He will do the things that he has to do to protect us. We shouldn't look at this person as being better than us. He is a servant. We give him the honor and respect, but he is not better than us on, on, the, on the hierarchy. He's not supposed to be better than us. He's really, his position is, he's actually protecting us. So he's making, he's making himself less than us because he's going to take the, you know, he puts himself in, in harm's way. This person here decided, no, I'm a cop. I got the gun, the badge. I got the car, the siren. I'm better than you. And so therefore, I'm giving you a ticket for, for passing me because you should give me respect. And that's not right. You see, if the cop understood his role, he would understand that he could be the best cop he could be and take care of himself. But he shouldn't make himself better than anyone else by rhetoric. Okay? So that's my next point. Because you take care of yourself and you you consider yourself as being the most important person in your life because you are. If you're not around, then you can't serve no one. But what you do is you understand your role. If you're a husband, a father, if you're a mother, if you're a teacher, if you're anything, if you're a preacher, you know that you're serving people and you prepare yourself to be the best that you can be so you can serve the people. But when it comes time to receive honor, you know, you should be humble. If, if someone comes to me and they say, well, you know, you're, you're so good with your math and your memory skills and I love your videos and, you know, I just want to just, you know, make you the, you know, the, an idol in my life, I will say no. The things that I do are only important to you because you have a need for those things. But there are other things that are way more important to me, your family, your job, your hobbies, this is simply a tool you can use to make your life better. It's simply something that you use to either um, entertain yourself or make yourself feel like you're a bit smarter. But trust me, I got things that, that I can't do that you can probably do. I can't play an instrument. Um, I can't sing. Um, you know, I, I don't speak um, you know, uh, a bunch of languages, things like that. So don't look at me as being anything. But to myself, I'm very proud of what I can do. I'm strong, that I'm healthy, that I have an intelligence, and I know I can use that. So I, I give every day, I try to make that better for myself. But I look at this life as, as all being equal, and there's no one more important than me to me, but I do expect you to feel that I'm more important than you. That's what I'm trying to say. Look at your importance to yourself and use that to help other people. There's nothing wrong with, with bringing yourself down to bring someone else up, but you have to do it because you know that it's the best thing to do, not because you don't feel good about yourself. Until next time, you have a great day.